soldier, writes Buhari, a largest corruption and failure in army, says Nigeria's will be worse than Ghana's June 4th insurrection. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. An officer of the Nigerian Army of the Infantry Corps, Sergeant Hazan Adebuza, has written an open letter to President Muhammad Buhari, the Commander-in-Chief of the Arms Forces, CCAFR, Arms Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, alleging continuous corruption and failure in the military hierarchy. In the letter dated April 10, 2023, Sergeant Adewuza reminded President Buhari that the Nigerian military is still fantastically corrupt, especially the army, where every senior officer cares more of his pockets and care less of the lives and welfare of his subordinates. He also alleged that the military commanders collected huge sums of money to turn a blind eye to intimidations, killings, and suppression of voters during the just concluded 2023 general elections. We walk like elephants, but eat like ants. A young commissioned officer today received better treatment than a very senior NCO. It is very painful, and we cannot take it anymore, he cried. In the army, he said, we have more eye service than loyalty. No soldier is willing to die for senseless leaders anymore, he stated emphatically. He also lamented the death of serviceable armored personnel corps APC-4, armored battalion which is supposed to be equipped with 36 battle tongues. Do not say I did not warn you. Soldiers are angry. What is necessary? You don't forget that this country is now sitting on the keg of gunpowder and any little, any little spark can cause a deadly explosion, he warns. The letter reads in full. He wrote, and I quote, Sir, continuous corruption and failure of the military hierarchy. Honestly, I honestly want to call on the attention of Mr. President on the above-mentioned subject. It is no longer a top secret but an open secret that the Nigerian military is fantastically corrupt, especially the Nigerian army. This has been proven by events of the past few years, starting from the fight against insurgents and banditry to the just concluded elections. Every senior officer in the Nigerian army today cares more of his pockets and cares less of his life and welfare of his subordinates in the just concluded election. The Nigerian police paid every policeman the sum of 180,000 naira, whether they took part in the election or not. But in the army, those that took part in the election exercise were paid 10,000, 9,075, demanding, depending on the command and some command, nothing was given to them, even pure water. And it was no secret that millions of naira were disbursed to the military for this purpose. Some military commanders even collected huge sums of money to turn a blind eye to intimidations, killing and suppression of voters. I am writing to you today, Mr. President, to look into the plight of junior member of the army, especially the other ranks, because the day of reckoning is coming. We have suffered for far too long. It seems like in our cadre, there is no dignity in labor. We walk like elephants, but eat like ants. Imagine how it feels after putting in more than 20 years of your life in the service and still being treated like trash. A young commissioned officer today received better treatment than every, than a very senior NCO. It is painful. Very painful. We cannot take it anymore. Mr. President, loyalty is one of the core values of the army. Let me inform you that loyalty is almost, if not completely, dead in the Nigerian army. We have more eye service than loyalty. No soldier is willing to die for senseless leaders anymore. The country is not worth dying for, especially when you think of the ill treatment you receive from your leaders. Or is it the ill treatment our dead colleagues' family receive? Our lives are now seen as wasteful sacrifices to fill the pockets of Inhumane senior military officers. The army is poorly paid and poorly equipped. For example, in the armor corps, an armored battalion is supposed to, to be equipped with 36 battle tanks, but name one armored battalion in Nigeria today that have five serviceable bat battle tanks. How many mechanized battalions today can be proud of one or two serviceable armored personal carrier APC? Toyota Hilux, which is supposed to be a logistic vehicle, is now our main operational vehicle in the Nigerian army, and yet to call this an army... Mr. President, we want an army that meets international standard. We have what it is, what it takes as a nation to do that. We feel ashamed to call ourselves soldiers when we meet in foreign missions with our counterparts from other nations. For these reasons, anger is building up in the army. Soldiers are angry and something has to be done quickly or you will see Ghana's June 4, 1979 happening in Nigeria. This in-house cleaning will shake the nation and Africa. Soldiers are leaving the job in high numbers, and most reasons is a loss of interest. 
that should have sent a signal, but no. Do not say I did not warn you. Soldiers are angry. Do what is necessary. Do not forget that this country is now sitting on the keg of gunpowder and any little spark can cause a deadly explosion. Yours sincerely, Sergeant Hazan Ade Wuza. Now, the thing is, this man don't come outside the voice. I just hope that this man is not silenced. Because in Nigeria today, eh, do you know an organization that goes far? Organization that goes far and does well. The organization that really takes the impute of even the driver. Let's say they are doing a meeting and the driver is around. The person that drives the CEO around or even drives the senior officer around. Their input matters. So I just hope that this particular letter is going to get to the appropriate authorities and do what? And they are going to look into these issues there is. A very serious warning indeed. They should do the needful while licking the cop. And whether soldiers and their widows and fatherless kids has no representatives. That bandit, Boko Haram, or non gunmen are hidden. But the negotiators knows where pay where they where they pay the ransom. The army are under equipped, but bandits are better equipped, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately and painfully is writing to somebody that does not read or care. The man is on his way out and does not mind if Nigeria is submerged in the ocean. Buhari has no idea whatever of whatever being the president. He has failed woefully in every area. A little opportunity to do something worthwhile. He has failed again. He executed his drug peddler some years ago. Now it is going to be handed over to another. All right. Um, yes, I'm happy to see the fire burning for a new Nigeria, not a corrupt leader that want to take us further. Just like from frying pan into fire, Buhari cannot respond to this. Whether he will look for the other for punishment, China, Nigeria, let's Ghana join foot, be in existence in the name of Jesus. Well, let me say this: If Nami, I go take this particular letter seriously. Take him seriously. I don't mean by going to after the person, but by doing what is supposed to them to do. I've said it many times that Nigeria is an exalted university whose visa is a proud hold of a primary school living certificate and practicing all forms of quackery and mediocrity. That is in the fight of insecurity, commanding position should be given to young officers. That is the repentant Boko Haram are treated better than loyal and serving soldiers who are the sabotage and massacres on basis, on a daily basis. Bandits, killers, hardsmen and kidnappers have representatives in and negotiated but Negotiated words. Okay. Serving soldiers who are sabotaged, massacred on, on daily basis. Bandits, killers, and husbands in kidnappers have representatives and negotiators. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for.